sir, restraining order. Don't do it. No. So ladies and gentlemen, that is my review. Those are my thoughts. That is my little chat. And this is everything that I think about it only happens in movies. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Cass here. I just literally had to close my window because there's so much traffic. Considering everyone should be staying at home, it is so much traffic. Today, I was just going to have a nap, but I made some coffee and I thought we could talk about some books. So today's book is It Only Happens in Movies. So to be honest, I got this for myself and my sister around Christmas time. And it says, bad boys turn good, kisses in the rain, climbing through bedroom windows, it only happened in movies. When Audrey meets Harry, is the start of truly cinematic romance, or is it Audrey knows that Harry is every movie cliche rolled into one, but she still chooses to let him into her heart. Um, bad boy, good girl kind of romance. It, I yes so that's kind of what the book is about uh, there is a girl she works in the cinema and there's like this big project going on at school that she has to talk about um something to do with media and she chooses to pick on basically romantic movies and how do they bring unrealistic expectations to us and how they're actually trash so there's a lot of things that I do agree with her on that because I do think a lot of the time there's a I'm pretty sure it's it's in the book as well and so one she talks about like different dates so like walking through a romantic foreign city or having a picnic in a park and like at midnight versus actual date night nando's date and i was like that is so true because no one has the time to be doing this like yeah we do one spectacular date every then a while but it's not like every week you go and do like a crazy date okay second thing is something I wanted to pick on when I see a lot of romantic movies and I prefer romantic books over movies so much but at the same time when you guys watch a movie and you have for example um Twilight or Vampire Diaries or you have a guy like he's staring through the through the window or like and then he tells you that he's seen you sleeping and it's so beautiful sir restraining order my that was a very big tangent but so the book I I knew it was going to have something to do with movies and it starts with like a big scene where a guy in a cinema, a lot of flowers, candles, and he, you know, he's asking for forgiveness and I didn't know what it was about. So I just like skipped through, started reading and the whole story unfolds. So Harry is a very troubled, he's a year older than our main character and basically it's their story he is into making zombie movies and she ends up being in his movie and so they like become friends they have a crush on each other but neither of them really wants to go there because she just went through a heartbreak and she's very like against the romance she put him in his place like leave me alone like don't flirt with me i'm done like i don't i don't need this shit basically so i really like that and then obviously shocker the romance happens and it does not end how i thought it would end because i got to about probably like 150 pages and i was like okay if it goes that she falls in love with him bad boy good girl he turns for her like i can't even deal with this but now if you guys didn't read it and don't want to get spoiled i would just say that it's not what you guys would expect so uh, all i can say is that she isn't a typical romantic story girl and there's a plot twist so I would highly recommend it, and I really do think that she's a very strong character at the end of the, of at the end of the day. Just a little disclaimer before we go. I just wanted to tell you guys that it does deal with first times when it comes to sexual encounters. So that's the one thing that you might want to consider if you haven't had your first time. Is something that might put you off, or it might be you know it might be out of your box. Two, it has uh, to do with family drama, so divorce and the mom does use um or overuses alcohol and has some issues and then there is a the mom tries to basically commit not commit a suicide but she she, she makes an attempt on her own life so if you guys are sensitive to this content because it was a little bit for such an easy 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 breezy book it was a little bit like oh that's 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 a little heavier topic so if you guys are sensitive to this maybe just watch out but I think that it really added on to the actual story and the realistic expectations of a romance in someone's life. So to the spoiler section now, 
spoilers. So if you guys have read this book, we can have a chat now. So the, in my eyes, is very realistic that obviously she has shit going on. So breaking up with her ex-partner and he being in her face already would put you off from romantic experiences. At least in my eyes, I would not want to see, especially when I was like 17, I would not want to see my ex-boyfriend with his new piece. Like I would not want to be around this. So not surprised that she feels that way. Two, her situation with taking care of her mom and being there alone and then dad with his new um, wife and children is trying to take their house away. That is so much pressure on such a young teenager that I'm not surprised that she was dealing with so much and she was going to work on top of it while being at school. So I think there's so much going on in her life already that it would be so hard to bring someone else, but I wouldn't be surprised that she would go there. So with that being said, um, Harry cliche is definitely like a romantic movie slash book cliche I do agree with that um and what he's done one I think it shouldn't be forgiven that he didn't make it cl crystal clear what his and I think the girl's name is Rosie his friends uh past actually have been two at least in my own experience if my love interest was hanging out with his ex-girlfriend I would ask what the deal is, especially if she would have been as hostile as she has been towards um, Audrey. So I would be like, listen, you gotta check her before I check her. So that was another thing. With that being said, what he has done, so she, after the meltdown that her mom had in such a hard night, I can't even imagine seeing him the next day and being like what the f were you doing last night why didn't you pick up also not his not his fault he doesn't have to do it but where have you been i was too drunk are you kidding me that would be my second question okay that's what he's done that's the kind of boy he is and then after she read that text message no i would have just been like that's it i'm done and then obviously when she found out what actually happened i'm back My allergies are bananas today. <sighs> My sneezing is over. So I think she threw herself into her work, which I think it would be a great thing, you know, get your mind off of it. And then when she drops off her uniform and goes in and basically sees him doing this magical, spectacular thing, which is, you know, recording all the romantic movies and putting them together and apologizing in such a grand gesture, which in every single movie, that's when a girl forgives a guy. And I was like, don't do it. Don't do it. No. And then she kisses him and I was like, no, she did it. No, she didn't. I was freaking out as, as, as I was reading. And then she goes, like, that was lovely and I forgive you, but I cannot be with you. And I thought that was so realistic. And I loved her. To start with, I didn't like her. I might have, I have to put my hands up, have my drink. I didn't like her. I thought that... If I had so much on my plate as she had, I think boys would be the last thing on my mind. That was the first thing. Two, I was like, two, I was like, well, everyone from your brother, your coworkers, friends, his ex warning you that you are just a five minute pleasure and you didn't take the hint. Like, I, I don't know. I just thought you're just being stupid like every girl in a romantic movie. And then what happened happened. And then when she said like, sorry, thank you, bye, not thank you. I was like, Yes, girl, because I thought, would I be able to forgive someone who couldn't pick up my phone call claiming to love, ugh, claiming to love me, but be okay with someone else going down on them at the same time. So I just thought it was like, hun, you definitely don't know what the definition, maybe you know what love is, but you definitely, definitely don't know the definition of respect and that's something I couldn't live with. So I was like, yes, girlfriend. And I thought it was such a great book. It really, I think if it was a movie, every girl should watch it. Because at the end of the day, you don't have to settle. You don't have to do this. And I think that book had such a good message. 
the yeah as much as we all love romance it only happens in movies because realistically if that would have happened my prediction is that that pattern would have repeated so it might have been with different things he might have kissed him might have slept with her he might have been doing the things that toxic traits and it's not something that you can just if you loved me you wouldn't do that you wouldn't do this if you respected me you wouldn't do this if you knew that you might be tempted you wouldn't even put yourself in that situation so that's me it only happens in movies and it definitely only happens in movies so ladies and gentlemen that is my review those are my thoughts that is my little chat and this is everything that i think about it only happens in movies